in the books of dash dash 49 in this case a company a company issued 20000 equity shares of 100 each payable 25 per share on application 25 per share on allotment and balance in two calls for 25 each the company did not make the final call of 25 per share all the money were duly received with the exception of the amount due on the first call on 400 shares held by mr modi the board of directors forfeited those these shares and subsequently reissued them at the rate of 75 per share paid up for a sum of rupees 28000 journalize the above transactions and prepare share capital account i have not prepared share capital account but you can do a ledger posting working notes application rupees 25 allotment rupees 25 first call rupees 25 Four and we could not receive first call on four hundred shares cross. Second and final call account cut twenty five has not been made. Total is hundred. Number of shares issued twenty thousand shares. Number of shares forfeited and reissued four hundred. There is no partial reissue. Journal format. Journal entries of Dash Dash Limited in fair notes. First entry on twenty thousand applications bank account debited. to share application account being share application money received on 20000 applications at the rate of rupees 25 per application 20000 into 25 that is rupees 5 lakh debit and credit share application account debited rupees 5 lakh to share capital account rupees 5 lakh Being share application money due on twenty thousand shares at the rate of rupees fifty per share, that is five lakh both debit and credit. Then share allotment account debited to share capital account. Being share allotment money due on twenty thousand shares at the rate of rupees twenty five per share. That is debit rupees five lakh, credit rupees five lakh, twenty five twenty thousand shares at the rate of twenty five. This is allotment due. Next is your allotment received. Bank account debited to share allotment account. Being share allotment money received on twenty thousand shares at the rate of rupees twenty five per share. The allotment money was received in full rupees five lakh. Next one is share first call account debited. to share capital account being share first call money due on 20000 shares at the rate of rupees 25 per share for capital that is 20000 at the rate of 25 that is rupees 5 lakh debit and credit next one is receipt of first call money we could not receive on 400 shares Then we received on nineteen thousand six hundred shares because twenty thousand shares minus four hundred shares. That is bank account debited to share first call account. That is four lakh ninety thousand in debit and credit. Being share first call money received on nineteen thousand six hundred shares at the rate of rupees twenty five per share. Next one is forfeiture of these four hundred shares. Share capital account debit four hundred into seventy five called that is rupees thirty thousand to forfeited shares account. We received application twenty five and allotment twenty five. That is four hundred into fifty five two zero five four zero twenty twenty thousand in credit column. To share final call, to say share first call by mistake, I have written final call. This is sorry, first call. That is to share first call, four hundred into twenty five, and I have written the narration correctly. Being four hundred shares forfeited due to non-payment of first call money of rupees twenty five per share, then full reissue, bank account debit. Forfeited shares account debit to share capital account. 
being 200 shares it issued at rupees 28000 as rupees 75 per share paid up please write down rupees 75 per share paid up or with 75 paid up is a very good word which should be written here hence 20000 rupees share capital was issued at rupees 28000 30000 worth shares 30000 rupees worth shares issued at 28000 hence discount on reissue or forfeited shares account debit rupees 2000 the last one is profit on reissue that is forfeited shares account debit 20000 minus 2000 that is 18000 to capital reserve account that is 18000 being profit and forfeiture and reissue of shares transfer to capital reserve account total is 20,68,000 both in debit and credit columns and this is our final answer.